What's going on guys? Today we're covering a small issue I ran into today, um, which is using Tab Navigator with Stack Navigator. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So here I have a little pre-made project that I'm going to use as an example. I have my main app, which is holding my tabs. We got tab two, tab one, and then our stack page, which we're going to want to be able to access from tab two. So all there is to it is installing your navigation, bottom tabs, and stack. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there's plenty of tutorials. It's really not that hard. Just search up the docs and install that in less than five minutes. So what we're going to want to do or how I'm going to do it is just add another function to this file and we're going to call it, um, we'll do just stack screen, stack screen, it's going to be a function. And then inside of this function, we want to return we're going to want to return a new stack navigator which down here we will just create stack and assign that to create stack navigator which we import up here on line seven so then in here we can return stack dot navigator nope not container stack that navigator and then okay so then we're gonna add a screen and that screen is gonna be linked to our stack page component and then we're gonna close stack navigator but another thing we're gonna want to do is actually add our tab 2 to this navigator it's a little bit weird and that's what I got confused on but we'll just call this home and we're going to link it to tab two. Yeah, that's how you do that. And then what we're going to do with this stack screen is we're going to use it in place of tab two's component that's existing right now. We're going to save that. See if our app will reload. Wow. Okay, so don't forget to set stack as a variable, like I did. All right, so now we're back in our app. Um, it still looks the same, except we run into this. Um, so something you can do is just options. And then you're going to set it equal to object inside object and then header shown. It's going to be false. And I believe that should fix. So then you're going to want to go to your tab two. Um, for this example, well, I'm just using this button. Um, and then you're just going to add on press, set it equal, we're going to run a function, oh and also we're going to need to pass in navigation, just pull that down like this, that's why, so then we'll do navigation dot navigate, navigate, and then we will be navigating to our stack page. It's whatever you have this name set to. Okay. Save that. Back to our app. Search. Stack page. stack page there it is um, and if you do leave your header um, you do get access to that back but you can just do that manually and add 
custom button which looks a lot cleaner um yeah that's all there is to it thanks for watching leave a like if this helped and see you guys later